All right, so um, what I'd like to do is show a short video on how I would go about editing my um, close-up or macro photography shoot. Um, as you see here, um, this is in my backyard um, with the sunset behind. Um, I think this is the original raw file. And um, I chose a couple here that I thought were pretty strong. A um, couple of my favorites, so I have one here and one here. And this is out of Lightroom here. This is my Lightroom catalog. And the first thing to do is to right-click or control-click, and I edit in Adobe Photoshop, open as a smart, smart object in Photoshop. So I've already done that. I did that with both of those images. Um, and then here we are, and I will work with this uh, darker style image first. And in this image, um, what I did is I look at something like this, and this is right out of the camera. And the first thing I'll say is um, I shot all of my images as raw files. Remember, raw files are larger files, so they have more information, and they don't have any automatic settings done to them. So when you um, work with a JPEG file, right, um, a JPEG file automatically sharpens, a JPEG file automatically does some color correction, a JPEG file automatically compresses your file down to a smaller version of that raw file. That's what your, your camera is automatically doing that for you. A raw file does not do any of those things for you. So when I look at this image, I say, hey, there are definitely some things that you have to do if you shoot in raw, like color correct a little bit, um, definitely have to sharpen. You probably have to bring in some more details into this photograph. And so that's what I, when I think about like what needs to happen to this image, it's those things right there to start off. So what I do is I start by having this, this is the layer that came in straight out of Lightroom. And what I need to do is I need to duplicate it, which I did. And then once I duplicated it, I brought it into Camera Raw. So um, I'll double click on this camera raw filter. Actually, I should I should show you the other way to do it. Hold on. Let's close that. So here I am in cam or my original. And uh, it's going to be a smart object. So all I need to do is say filter. Camp com I'm sorry. Filter. I'm going to turn that on. Filter. Camera raw filter. There. And I don't want to do that again. But what I want to do now, is, since I've already done it, double click that camera raw filter so it'll open up the pre the settings that I created. So here this should look if if you don't want to work in Photoshop and you want to work in Lightroom, this looks very similar to Lightroom. The Lightroom application and the camera raw application, the camera raw within Photoshop are basically the same thing. So you could work either place, they're going to do a similar thing. Um, they're even going to look the same, the sliders and everything. Um, this detail button right here is where we're going to do our sharpening. And I sharpen this about 28. And you're going to have to look at your specific photo in your camera to decide how much to sharpen that. So I just slid this up a little bit. Um, here, I went in and adjusted my highlights, my lights, my darks, and my shadows to give it a little bit more contrast and pop. Here I warmed it up a little bit, just a plus three towards the yellow is warm. It's going to warm it up versus cooling it down as far as that um, white balance or color, the temperature of the of the the tone tonal range, the temperature of the light. I brought my exposure up a little bit. I gave it some clarity and dehaze. The clarity is going to uh, um, control the mid tone contrast. That's where you're going to get a lot of these. Uh, this detailed texture in here, okay? I brought up my vibrance and saturation just a little bit to make it pop a little more. And if you go way down here, oh, I didn't do it here. I did it on the other one. I did do a split toning here. And what that means is I'm looking at the highlights and the shadows. And what I want to do is I want to emphasize the tonal range that's in the highlights and the shadows. So if you notice, here I pulled my highlights to a purple tone here and I did a little bit I did a plus three on that um, which is basically just bringing out more purple tones and the highlights and in the shadows I tried to do more of a magenta um, but just a little bit of magenta in the shadow areas 
that's all I did here. Boom. And that's going to bring it back over here. And you can see the before and after. Before, after. Right? So this is the above view of the tulip that I shot in my front yard. And this is the side view of that same tulip. And I did similar effects to this. See? Before, after. Yeah. Pretty straightforward. That's all in that camera raw filter. And the cool thing about that camera raw filter is, guess what? I finished my edit. Oh, I don't like it. I, I need to change something. Double click that camera raw. It's a non-destructive edit. I can come right back here and say, hey, I want to adjust, uh, I don't know, my highlights or my shadows or whatever. And I can adjust that right here. Oh, it's too, too warm. I don't like that plus four. Let's back it down and make it cooler. So now it's a colder, cooler blue tone. I don't like that at all. The plus four was much better. And you just hit OK, and it's going to save it over. There you go. That's the quick and easy um, edit for your macro photography. Um, feel free to email me with any questions or concerns. Or, hey, Mr. Rodriguez, I just, uh, I'm just i not sure how to do this or that. Love to help you. Um, and hopefully you created some cool macro photography pieces.